we are getting more calls about this one area of Houston because of how much space that you can get. I was actually with some clients this morning walking their home because they were absolutely blown away six months ago when we showed them what they could get for their money and how much space that they could get out here in this area. And if I could drop a pin anywhere on the map as far as where I think you're gonna see the biggest explosion of growth here in the Houston area, where you can still get a fully custom home on one to two acres and pick everything out where you're not right on top of your neighbors, it would be this area. In fact, our clients are only about 90 days out from getting their keys to their custom brand new home, just like the one that we're inside of right now, which we're gonna be showing you in today's video. But you might be going, Kyler, I don't have 1.3, $1.4 million to build my custom dream home, but maybe your budget's pretty close. Maybe you're in that seven, $800,000 range and you want a custom home on one to two acres. Well, there's actually a brand new community that we're also gonna be showing you today that has just that. And I was absolutely blown away because I didn't even think homes this nice with this much space could exist for $700,000. In fact, seeing the homes that we're gonna be showing you today genuinely got my gears turning, asking myself the question, do I want more space? Is this an area where I could see my family moving to here in the next couple of years? Now let's go ahead and show you the first look at this gorgeous custom home that we're in. As you can see, this home sits on a one and a half acre wooded lot with tons of privacy, plenty of space, and it is one of those ideal, really wide, one-story ranch style custom homes. This one is 3,700 and 76 square feet. And we are right here in the heart of the home. Whoa. What? Let's go start at the front. Okay. Welcome, we are inside of Grace Point's model home. And Grace Point is one of the more unique builders in and around the Houston area. And they specialize in building out on these larger lots. And come on in, right whenever you come into this home, it is gorgeous. And what I love about being out here with these acreage lots is that nothing feels tight. These homes are nice and open. And this particular floor plan is fully custom, meaning when you build with this builder, you can build whatever you want to build. And so what they did in this one is they have this gorgeous open office. They don't have doors closing it off. You could obviously throw those in. They got massive windows bringing in all of this natural light. One of the things Grace Point's known for, you might be able to seat out the windows, is these nice front porches. So you do have a place to hang out, not just in the back of the home with the privacy, but hanging out on that front porch where you can wave at your neighbors. Now they've got these gorgeous built-ins in here and I love what their designers did with the home. They hire amazing designers. You'll see it all throughout this house. So you've got your front study and then before we go show you that beautiful living room that we were in, I want you to come down this way because you've got different wings of the homes. When you have this width to work with, you can have different sections and check this out. This is one of the cooler media rooms that I've seen. This has a massive sectional in it. They don't even have a TV up, but that's where you would put the TV. And look at the attention to detail here. This is a step up above a lot of the different model homes that we typically show you in these master plan communities. This sectional can seat about six people. You've got plenty of room. This is one of the biggest fiddle leaf figs I've ever seen in a home. And then you've got two of your four bedrooms over on this side of the house. So go check that one out. Plenty of space. These things are absolutely massive. And what I love about this particular floor plan is that they've got some really good sized closets. They don't cut you short anywhere. You've got a full walk-in closet with plenty of hanging space, but these have full ensuite bathrooms. So you've got a full walk-in shower here on the first floor. And if you look up, you've got eight foot doors. So it really gives that grand feeling to the home. You've got 10 foot ceilings in here and you've got one of the other bedrooms on this wing of the home as well. And this one also has its own bathroom. So you've got full en suites. And then this one, they did a tub shower combo. So if it is a kid's room, you're gonna have that option in here as well. Now, the cool thing about this is we're not selling you this home. We're not selling you this floor plan. This is an example of what you can get around $1.3 million. And that is all in with this builder. And that's gonna be pretty standard. Between their lot costs and build costs, you're gonna see a lot of people in that you know, on the lower end in this neighborhood, 1.1. And on the higher end, you've got some that go all the way up to $2 million. But check this out. Isn't this a wow factor? Look up, look at these cathedral ceilings. I mean, these have to be 18 to 20 foot cathedral ceilings in a one story home. This kitchen is spectacular. And once again, working with their designers, you can just tell 
that they know what they're doing. There's tons of textures, a lot of different color palettes going on. You've got the two-tone cabinets with the wood grain in them. And because this is a fully custom home and a step up, you're also gonna see these amazing upgraded appliances. This is flush with the cabinets. It's a built-in refrigerator. You've got the two-tone cabinets, but they have this extra little wine bar area over here. And listen, if you need space for all of your stuff, check this pantry out. This thing is huge. Now, tell me if you like this or not. Leave it in the comments below. This is this is the only ding I see so far. I don't like microwaves down here this low. I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's not super convenient. Let me know. I want your honest take on them. I get why custom home builders do it. They don't want to put them up over the, uh, the, the stove. You've got this gorgeous range. But guys, there's a hidden feature in this home that I actually haven't seen in any home here in the Houston area. I'm going to give you a minute to see if you can find it. Keith, do you know where it is? Spice cabinets. Look at that. Yeah, you literally have spice racks right here on each side. So pretty sweet. You've got a six burner. I believe this is a gin air, really nice cooktop here. You've got your ovens underneath, sweet dishwasher, and then your deep porcelain farmhouse sink. Um, but look at just how this room is this gorgeous open concept. And I think your eyes naturally gravitate towards the back of the home. You've got massive sliders, which I, I think you have to do when you're building a custom home out on acreage. Because if you look out here, you see all of these trees. You don't see your neighbors. You've got plenty of yard space to build a pool. And what's super cool, if you come this way, let me get you out one of these sliders. You gotta follow me, I gotta find my way out. I want you to see what they did. They carried the cathedral ceilings from the inside all the way out onto the patio, which I just thought was perfect. You have a huge outdoor living space over here. It just dumped pollen for the first time. It's spring, spring is upon us. But check this out, you've got a huge outdoor kitchen over here as well. We could play the guessing game again, Keith. I'm going trash can. Got it. Uh, I think this is like a, like a, a high heat burner like cooktop. No, that's a boiler. Uh, I'll get this one. This is the grill, um, vent hood, and then I don't know what these are. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with fridge. Nope, ah, storage. I don't know. Anyways, I love playing that game. Plenty of room out here. Uh, when in, whenever you custom build, the cool thing is you can work with your architect. You can build whatever you want. You could have a kitchen there, kitchen there. Literally, the the sky is the limit. Now, obviously, depending on your budget, the sky might not be your limit, but. You're gonna get a lot of people out in these neighborhoods building pools. You get to keep all of these gorgeous trees. And I will say this, one of the reasons that we're seeing so many people move out to this area is because of the geography. There's only a few parts of the Houston area out in the suburbs where you can get these massive pine trees. And that's really what's drawn a lot of people out to this area. Now, as we come back in, obviously you have this kind of informal dining room over here. This is a massive eight seater table. It doesn't feel tight at all. And I actually haven't felt a layout like this, but I love it. I think that the fact that it's right here off of the kitchen is so convenient. And so many times I see, in my opinion, wasted square footage with these formal dining rooms way away from the kitchen. I could actually see us eating here for every single meal. Yes, you've got this massive oversized kitchen island with the bar stools, but I just think this is so cool. And this is such an inviting space with these cathedral ceilings that it, it just really feels like the family would be in here all the time. Now, this is a cool upgrade. This might not be, um, you know, for those with little kids necessarily, you could box this in and make it a playroom. But for me personally, I just think having like a formal sitting area with a gas fireplace, when I saw this, I thought it was brilliant. So I absolutely loved it. Check this out, they've got the built-ins. This is real brick too. This isn't your brick wallpaper. This is the real deal. You get what you pay for here. But I just, I don't know. I thought having a sitting area off of the main living room was, was neat. You could drink your wine, you could play your board games and it really not have the TV be the focal point of hanging out in this part of the home. Now, as you come back this way, they actually have a full three car garage used as their sales office. We're not gonna check that out right now, but you've got your coat closet here, your cool little shoe rack, our coat rack and shoe storage. And then over here, this is your living room. This is really where you're gonna spend most of your time in this house, uh, unless you know, you're a movie buff and you're up there in that movie room. Um, so let's go back here. I'm gonna show you the master bedroom. Now, one thing you'll notice are these wood floors. They're carrying them throughout most of the home. These are real. These are as good as it gets. I love the color. And this is a really good size master bedroom. Off the back of the home, you've got the black windows, which are definitely, in my opinion, the most tasteful option for windows. You got a king bed in here. 
And because it's a custom builder, you can work with their designers, you can do anything. So unlike a lot of the model homes that we'll see in the Houston area, where you know what you see isn't what you get with those model homes. Here with Grace Point, you're gonna be able to build literally this exact home if you wanted it, partner with your designers, buy furniture, all of the above. And then what I love is they did this kind of pink shiplap. I just think it's really cool. All the textures that they were able to throw together with their designers. But this bathroom is sweet. There is plenty of space in here. This is an absolutely gorgeous tub. I love that they kind of did like the, you know, you're out here in the country a little bit, right? This area is booming, but historically this has been the country. So it, they went with like a barnwood looking tile but they really mixed up all of the different colors and textures. You've got your little makeup counter here, dual vanity. And it's in this price point that you start to see those upgrades. You've got the framed out uh, mirrors with the wall sconces. It's just not a, you know, a mirror just stuck to the wall. And then I love that they wrapped this tile, almost like a backsplash all the way around the shower casing. And then go around that other side. You can meet me, you'll see you've got the walkthrough shower. So whether you're on the his or the her side, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can come in here and then this is sweet. You got your wand and I love that they use the brass. You've got the brass on everything here. You got it on the handles, on all of the faucets. And then see if you can meet me this way, Keith. Nope, you can't because you've got two separate closets. And these are massive too. I, I've been really disappointed lately with all the closet space that we've seen in our last videos. You'll go in these big three, 4,000 square foot homes and this will be it. But you actually have two closets in this home. And what's cool is I think these are both the same size. So they're not discriminating. You get two really good sized closets. But one of the features that I absolutely love in homes is whenever they connect the closets or the bathroom over to the laundry room, which they did here. I think this is so cool. And this isn't one of those tight laundry rooms. You actually have built-ins in here. You've got space to walk around, even though these doors open into the laundry room, it doesn't really feel like an issue at all. Coming this way, we're actually in another part of the house that we haven't shown you yet. So you've got your half bath. This is gonna be your half bath. And this is what people are gonna use, guests that are visiting, because that connects back out to the living room. But this is that fourth and final bedroom over here. And once again, it has its own ensuite bathroom. So I don't know if you noticed, but this is a four bed, four and a half bath home. This home is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go back to the living room. Now, I wanna give you guys a really accurate idea of how much this stuff actually costs so that you can know within your budget, you know, whether or not you could actually get a home like this or whether or not you need to look at the homes we're gonna show you here in a little bit, starting around $700,000. Now this model, like I said, is around 3,776 square feet. This one's decked out. I mean, you saw the upgraded appliances, the cool little spice rack, the gas fireplace inside, outdoor kitchen, real wood floors, cathedral ceilings with beams. I mean, this is, this is no joke. This is a truly custom home, but you can build this home with this lot on this much acreage with these gorgeous trees for right around $1.3 million. So if that is in your budget, the sky really is the limit. This is fully custom. You can pick everything out. And while I love Grace Point, there are a lot of different builders that build different products out here in this neighborhood. So we're in High Meadow Estates, which is one of many amazing acreage communities that you can buy a lot and you can pick your custom builder and you can build on it, which is exactly what my clients are currently doing out here right now. And that's exactly what I'm doing with my partner, Justin, in our custom home building project. But we are in between Magnolia and Montgomery, Texas. And if I could drop a pin on a map as to where I think it's gonna explode in the next five to 10 years, it is right here. So what I wanted to do before we go show you those $700,000 homes and before we go meet with Justin, our custom home builder, I actually wanted to run you over into downtown Montgomery, tell you a little bit about the area. The area we're really talking about today when we're showing you these acreage homes is gonna be this whole northwest corridor of Houston. That's where a lot of these gorgeous pine trees are and that's really where these cool small towns are that are really coming to life. We're here in downtown Montgomery, which is one of my favorite small Texas towns, but you also have Magnolia up in this area. You've got Tomball and this is where these large acreage communities are. Now, as you can see, this is a really cute downtown and it's really coming to life. They've got a lot of uh, antique stores. We just actually ate over at the Cozy Grape and we're actually about to head over to one of the coolest design centers I've ever seen. This is with Grace Point Homes, the first builder that we showed you. And what they thought they would do is they took a home from the 1800s and they actually completely renovated it and they turned it into their office. So if you do decide to build with them, you're gonna come up here. But it's not just about old Montgomery. There's so much growth coming here to this area. You're actually right next to Lake Conroe, which has a lot of fine dining, shopping. You've got Fajita Jacks right there on the water with Akashi. And Lake Conroe is a really fun thing to do here in the area. You think you might be moving out here to get more space, but you're about 10, 15 minutes. In fact, a boat just went by, there you go. 
um, from Lake Conroe. It's a 20,000 acre boatable lake. It's the recreational lake for the Houston area. And one of the great things about this area is it used to be hard to get to, but now you have Highway 249, which is a major tollway connecting everything from Houston all the way out through to the Magnolia, Tomball, and even Montgomery areas. Now flip the camera around. I want you guys to see where we're headed right now. This is right in downtown Montgomery, and this is Grace Point Homes headquarters. This is their design center, and they just did a fantastic job. I think it really highlights what they can do with homes. Um, and so we're gonna go check this out and then we're gonna head over and show you the homes that they're building on acreage starting right at $700,000. Nothing tells the story of what's actually taking place here like the White House. As you see, we're here in downtown Montgomery and this is Grace Point's headquarters, but this also is a home that was built in 1856. They recently renovated it and this is their design center. So if you contract to build with them, you're gonna to get to come up here and pick out everything. But before we get to that, I just wanted to show you how cool this place was because this really is a staple of downtown Montgomery and it really is a piece of history. This is the birthplace of the Texas flag. And in fact, as an ode to that, they actually have this hanging up here. Right when you walk in, they got this cool little bar area, but they really wanted to keep the rich history of this house while still kind of accentuating some of the cooler features of it, which is exactly, I guess, the ethos of why people are moving to Montgomery. They want more space. They like how laid back it is. So their design center is back over here. I do want you to see this room really quick. It's uh, it looks like a cigar room. It's pretty cool. Uh, they said you can't smoke in here, even though they have pipes and ashtrays. So anyways, they've got this sweet interactive map over here. I don't know if it comes through on camera, but it really it shows exactly what we were talking about. You've got your downtown Houston here, and these are all the areas that they're building as a builder. And this is all that Northwest corridor. And you can see how dark this gets compared to this over here. And that's because of all the pine trees. You've got Lake Conroe, and we are all the way up here in downtown Montgomery. We started over in High Meadow Estates, and we're actually gonna head after this over to the Cedars to show you the homes that they're building for $700,000. And here's an example of coming up to the design center. They've got professional designers that'll help you pick all of the materials that go into your home, whether it's flooring, cabinets, backsplashes, tiles for your, uh, you know, your laundry rooms, you name it, you're gonna get to pick it. And because they have such great designers, they're gonna give you a head start. So if you're overwhelmed, they actually put together these color palettes. You can pick a drawer and either pick one of these or you can work your way on up in the price points and get more and more customizable. They got your flooring over here as well. So I just wanted to show you inside of here while we were here in downtown Montgomery, because like I said, this building really tells the story of what's going on out here. And I really wanted to show you what you can pick to put inside of your home. Hey, Dan. Okay, awesome. Are y'all over at the house? All right, sweet. All right, well then we'll just, uh, we'll head, we'll call an audible. We'll just head that way and we'll see you in a minute. All right, bye. Okay, I promise we're gonna get you in those $700,000 homes, but a client of ours that's actually building in High Meadow Estates is in town right now. He's meeting the pool builder, the retaining wall guy. We're actually gonna head on over there and I'm just gonna have him tell you exactly why he chose to move and build in this area. We are back in High Meadow Estates and we're actually walking up to the Rucker family's home. They reached out to us through our YouTube channel about seven, eight months ago. Their home is under construction here in High Meadow Estates. And flip around, Keith, you've got the Rucker family sign. They decided to build with Jamestown. Like I said, there's tons of different custom home builder options here in High Meadow. So we're meeting up with their pool builder, the retaining wall guys, and they are about 90 days away from getting their keys to their brand new custom home right here in High Meadow. Dan, Jen, why are y'all moving to this area? Why'd y'all pick it? You know, honestly, uh, we like the culture. We like, we like the vibes down here. You know, we watched a lot of your videos and fell in love with it, came here, we thought it, you know, we weren't sure what we were gonna find and we found that it was just a, as amazing as it was on TV. And you found it quicker than you were expecting. Heck yeah. Y we like did. In a day. Yeah. Y'all were like, we're a year out and then on day four, y'all were like, we are buying a lot. <laughs> That's exactly how it went down. Where are y'all moving from? Seattle area, a little yeah. bit north of Seattle, about as far north of Seattle as we are north of Houston right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. Well, we'll let you get back to it. Thanks for uh, sharing it with us. All right, thank you. Cool. Yep. Well, you got to hear directly from somebody that was just like you that reached out to us about nine months ago, came into town, and in four days, they ended up falling in love with the place and actually buying. And so they get their keys here, like we said, in about 90 days. And I thought that was really cool, but it really is true. We say it all the time. If you are thinking about moving here, don't be shy. Just give us a call like the Wreckers did. Shoot us a text, send us an email, and that way we can actually help you make a smooth move here to Houston. And listen, 
A ton of people really believe in this area, but it's not just the people calling us from our YouTube channel. It's not just the local people that believe in this area, but I personally believe in this area. I believe in this area so much that I am putting my money where my mouth is. I've actually partnered up with Quincy Custom Homes. We're gonna meet up with Justin here, and this is one of the homes that he's building. He's got seven, eight years of custom home construction experience, and that is why we've partnered up to build homes just like the one you see behind me here, here in this area. Justin, about how far out are we on this home from being completed? Yeah, so we're hope this is a spec home, so we're hoping to get this done by the end of May, uh, so it's ready for the summer. What's the total build time for a project like this, just so people can understand what they're getting into i would say about about eight months would be it would be a really good ballpark number there and i think what a lot of people don't understand is how you build in these large acreage neighborhoods so they've got two options right they can either go out here reach out to us we'll help them find a lot and then they can pick a custom home builder whether that's you or somebody else or they can actually find a home like this one right this mm -hmm. one this one hasn't been sold yet yep not sold yet so somebody could come in you've already built it it's pretty far along and they could contract either earlier on and maybe pick some of the stuff out yep or if it's completed they can just buy it and move right on in yep absolutely so um, this particular house right here um, we're gonna list it right about sheetrock so they can finish out their cabinets, their floors, their fixtures, all that good stuff. So they just so. have to be happy with the lot location and floor plan and then they can kind of pick everything out yep, from there. Absolutely. How big is this one? This one is 3769. So 3769, four bed, four and a half bath. Yep. Everybody gets their own bathroom again. Yes. See, that's what I love about getting all this space out here. I won't hold you to it. Where do you think this is gonna come in price wise? I think this is gonna be around that 1.2 range. Okay, so 1.2, fully custom. What are some features on your home that you might not see in some of these others out here? You know, one thing that I like doing uh, I really like making the outdoor space uh, the best. I, I think I feel like with entertainment, you got a fireplace out there. We'll have a TV out there, uh, speakers, outdoor kitchen, just a great entertainment. And area. that's already included in this home. That'll be included. So at in one point two, you get all of that. And then one thing I noticed, I love all the glass that you chose to use here. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I like the. This is a more of a hill country modern type home. Um, and I just wanted to have that that uh that floor to ceiling windows there i think it looks great but you can build anything i was just over at one of your project sites and it was what a million dollar party barn yes yes that thing was absolutely nuts yeah it was awesome that one yeah. uh super custom very rustic um and it was definitely something to see for cool sure. all right sweet well i just wanted to show the people uh you know who we're partnered with in building these homes give them an example of what they can get right around that 1.2 range yeah awesome man now, Grace Point just opened up this model home as well, and I have been waiting on this neighborhood to finally have homes in it. We're gonna get you inside, but right up at the front of this home, you've got this cool home office here, but I wanna get you into the heart of the home because I was blown away, and I mean this, I was blown away when I heard that you could get this exact home in this neighborhood on one to one and a half acre lots, starting at $700,000. It's not clickbait. This home, as you see it specked out, we're gonna walk you around, we're gonna show you everything. Real wood floors, you got the shiplap on the walls, the brick, the black windows. This exact home they're selling out here with these upgrades in it for $750,000. This is a 3,200 square foot, one story home. It's got four bedrooms, plenty of space, and it's a really nice and wide one story. So we'll just start right here. We're in the living room. This is a massive family room. It's definitely that open concept. As you pan around, you can kind of see you've got the informal dining over there. You've got the kitchen. And now here's kind of the difference when you're looking at $700,000 homes versus 1.3. You still get it really nice and well appointed, but you don't have you know two of the $15,000 sliders, but you still have gorgeous floor to ceiling black windows with great views of the backyard, by the way, which have awesome trees. You've got your gas fireplace in this home. And then these are kind of those upgraded details that are gonna take this home from 700 to that 750. You got the upgraded shiplap, the really pretty brick fireplace here, the real wood floors. One thing that I really like about this floor plan, they actually have this kind of media room playroom uh, over here off of the main living area. Now, unlike the first home we saw, this one has windows in it, so it could be a flex space. You could black out curtains and. This is plenty big for a media room, but this is also a great game room for the kids, play room for the kids, especially if you've got young ones. Um, but you could even fit you know, a, a pool table or ping pong table. That's how big this room actually is. And it's just right off of the living room, giving you kind of that secondary living space here on the first level. Now, you've got your kind of informal dining area. This, this home doesn't have a formal dining room. Um, and I'd say most one stories under 3,000 square feet or even under 3,500 square feet aren't gonna have a formal dining room, especially these days. Uh, but this is plenty of space. It doesn't feel crammed in here at all. In fact, they probably could have gone with an eight-seater table, 
and they might have even been able to run it a different direction. Coming over here to the kitchen, this is what you can expect to get in terms of you know, quality of finishes. These are, um, you know, a nice pretty quartz. You got your deep farmhouse sink here. You still have really nice stainless steel appliances in this home. You've got a five burner cooktop with your vent hood. And then I love this. I love the drawers. Every time that they do the drawers underneath the, uh, the stove top over here. Now they don't have built in, you know, spice racks, but you're also saving about $600,000. So just depending on where you're at budget wise, this could be a great option for you. Now, one thing with Grace Point at this price point, I'm actually gonna use these as an example. These aren't fully custom homes. That's how they're able to get the cost down. And so they've got a bunch of different floor plans. This one's 3,690 square feet. They've got different front elevations. So you can do the modern farmhouse. But anyways, you're gonna come in, you're gonna pick one of their floor plans. And then just like we saw over the design center, um, you might not necessarily need to pick everything out in this home. You might just pick a package, right? So you'll pick you know, the floors that go with the counters, that go with the carpets and it just makes it easy because the designers have already picked everything out. So we're gonna head this way, and we're gonna show you really what makes this place so special. It's not just the home, it's these massive lots. Man, it's just quiet out here. I mean, that's, that's what you're paying for. It's quiet, you've got this gorgeous wooded lot. Now this lot's wider than actually a lot of the lots out here. So some of the lots will go a lot further um, back, but you can see they've got this four rail um, fence and just plenty of trees actually on your lot. It's so rare here in the Houston area to get a new home with these established uh, trees. And this is a standard back patio on this home. This is huge. Now it doesn't have the outdoor kitchen, but it does have the gas stub out over there. Uh, and it also has the plug, you know, for you to be able to mount your TV. And then these are blocked and wired for speakers. So you can add your speakers when you move in as well as ceiling fans. So it looks like they've got it pre-wired for two ceiling fans, cost, you know, 150 bucks to install them and you're good to go. You got a little bit of a storage closet over here and then a massive master bedroom. Now, uh, they've got carpet in here, which is, I would say, pretty standard in most homes, especially in this price point. You can always upgrade, continue the wood flooring in this home like you saw over in their, their larger home over in High Meadow. Now, a little bit about Cedars. You know, the Cedars is a really unique neighborhood. I actually have property. We've shown it in some other videos about five minutes from here. We've got a 45 acre little ranchette and we bought it a couple years ago because we knew this area was blowing up with the tollway but little did we know they were going to have these massive large acreage developments like the cedars taking shape out here and so all the growth is headed out this way we're about 15 minutes from where we were earlier in downtown montgomery just right along highway 105 so this is going to be the master bathroom still really well appointed um you know a little less going on than what we saw in the 1.3 home but still i mean really nice freestanding tub Fully tiled shower, let's see, they got a bench. Yep, they got a bench. You can sit down while you shower. Not sure why you would do that, but you can. Got your toilet over here and then still spare no, no space. You've got two closets. So this is one of your two closets. Check it out, There's plenty of room. And then the closet right back over here is just absolutely massive. And it still has the feature that I love. So check this out. I mean, this is plenty of space. This is bigger than, this closet would be enough for the master and you have two. Let's just put it that way. And then what I love is it does connect through over here to the laundry room. Now, because they have it you know, set up as an office, they've got their printer in here. What's really cool, it's locked up right now because the salespeople are gone, but they have a three car garage with epoxy floor. It's got a, a two car stall and then a single, maybe for a golf cart uh, or out here, you can get a big four by four Polaris, but they also have a little bonus room in the garage. So they leave it sheetrocked, but not completely built out. So you're not paying for that square footage, but it's a, a little bonus room you could use as a workshop. That's gonna be your half bath right over there. We still have a whole wing of the house that we haven't shown you yet, so come on over this way. All right, so this is where your other three bedrooms are gonna be. So we'll pop in, in over to this one first. This is actually the smallest of the three bedrooms located on this side of the home. So one of the benefits of being out on acreage is you know, there's really, you don't have to cram it on a, on a tiny lot. And so I really don't feel like they cut any corners even building, I mean, this is one of their cheaper homes. That's the crazy part. Um, it just doesn't feel tight at all. You know, plenty of closet space. I mean, I don't know if you call this a walk-in, I can walk in it, um, but technically it's, it's not. You just have a ton of hanging space over here. And then you've got your hall bath, which is gonna be shared by these two bedrooms. So we'll just go ahead and check this one out. Plenty of natural light in here. This is a queen size bed, not a king, but I mean, you actually have plenty of room in this, uh, in this room to fit a king bed. And then right this way, this is cool. This is the ensuite. This might be for the in-laws or the guest room because you can close this door up here and you've got your own bathroom. You've got a really large walk-in closet. 
and then really you have just a ton of space here. So let's go back out into the living room and I wanna tell you a little bit more about the actual Cedars, the neighborhood. So out here in the Cedars, you have the opportunity to come out and you can actually buy a lot using us on your own without contracting with a builder. There's no timeline on when you need to actually start construction, but what most people will do is they'll reach out to us, we'll come out here, we'll find them the perfect lot, and then they'll contract on that lot, and when you buy that lot, typically what you'll do is you'll get a construction loan. So we'll help you pick a builder based on your budget and really based on your design preferences. We work with all of the different builders out here, and so you might find a lot and you might wanna to talk to Grace Point, or you might wanna to talk to us with you know Quincy Custom Homes, or Jamestown who Dan and them were building with. You've got plenty of options, but no matter who you end up choosing to go with, you'll get that construction loan, you'll buy that lot, and usually paying cash for that lot is gonna be enough to cover uh, using the construction loan for the rest. You're not gonna need to come out of pocket for anything else. So you can come out here to the Cedars, and there's still something really cool that we haven't shown you yet about the Cedars specifically. One thing that I love about um, Fry Inc., the developer here, and they're the same developer as over in High Meadow Estates, is they always pick these really, really cool, pristine and just gorgeous properties. But there's one thing on this property that I just have to show you. The Cedars is one of the prettiest and most pristine properties that we've seen when it comes to large acreage communities. It has everything that you would look for from the gorgeous trees, it's a good mix of pines, oaks, and then obviously the Cedars as you see behind me here. But how about that drive in? I mean, that is one of the prettiest drives you're gonna see anywhere. And what's cool about the Cedars is they're early on in development. They're actually going to turn that drive, they're gonna get rid of the road and they're gonna leave those trees and they're actually gonna leave it as a park for people to utilize here in the neighborhood. We're actually up at the original homestead. And as you can see, this home behind me is very old. It has been here, I believe, since probably the late 1800s and it's perched up on a hill. You can see for miles, it's got gorgeous panoramic views, and that could be yours depending on which lot you select out here. They've, they develop lots in different phases, and so you're gonna have the opportunity over the next couple of years to pick out which one would be best for you and your family. And listen, maybe the Cedars isn't for you. Maybe you do need to explore other large acreage communities. Well, there's only one way to do that, and it's actually come into town, meet up with us, and go and explore. We're gonna tell you exactly which neighborhoods are gonna be best for you based off your price point, how much acreage you really want, and really what part of the city you would like to be in. And there are a lot of grounds to cover when it comes to large acreage communities, but depending on what you want, we can narrow that list very quickly for you. In fact, this might help you. Go ahead and click on this playlist right here. It's gonna tell you everything you need to know about the large acreage communities, as well as the surrounding suburbs. And as always, if you're thinking of moving here, you want your slice of Texas, don't be shy, we can help. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to the country.